Hello everybody, Marie by Design here and yesterday I did a video on my new dies that I'd received which were Sizzix uh, Tim Alts and I said I'd come back with another video today but I think I'm going to have to do more than today um, because I've, I've still got things to show you what I received I'm not going to use them now I should do videos in the next coming weeks so it's all exciting um, as yet I haven't had my printer I'm still waiting um, so I'm presuming it's going to come in the next couple of days over the weekend over the weekend uh, maximum I would say by Monday because um, I have had an email but um, it didn't say what it was that was coming I've only got uh, the uh, tracking code so I, I presume it is it is my printer that's on its way um, okay so I'm going to get started on this video now for this I'm going to have to move my keyboard out the way because it it's a big machine and it makes books, notepads, art journals. Can you guess what it is? I've been waiting to get this for a few years now, but they bought something else in that was new. That's uh, American Crafts. They bought something else that's in that's new. Or it could be, <laughs> we are very keepers, that's good, isn't it? A good start. Okay, so, it's in a big box. I think it is We, we uh, American Crafts. It's the Thermal Cinch. It is American Crafts. I was right to say that in the first place. Okay, so I got this thermal cinch um, and with some accessories as well um, off Hobby Maker. First of all, let me show you the cinch. Uh, it says it compiles cover and pages uh, select binding and accessories and then bind with a thermal cinch so in the next coming few weeks I will be doing videos on all of this that I've had new I had this about a month ago I still haven't started using it because I've got no backboards for the notebooks so I've got to buy some of those first before I can use this because obviously I can't make any notebooks. I can use these but I've got no um, backboards for it. I'm thinking that's what I'm going to need. Um, I might not need to actually, just a piece of card and spine and a... Oh yeah. I want to make mine more secure so I'll use a piece of card I suppose you could use two pieces of card but I want to make mine a bit more sturdier uh, by getting some backboards I think that's the best thing if I'm gonna make to sell I want to make them sturdy I don't want to be just putting any old piece of card um, on on these notebooks and art journals the day <laughs> So I can do that. So I need um, obviously some hard board for the back of them. I want them sturdy if I'm going to sell them. So that's my plans. So until I've got that, then uh, for notebooks, obviously, I might not need any backboards. But then again, I'm going to get thinking and see, you know, um, see how I get on with that. And get the backboards because I've seen some on sale somewhere so that's what I'm gonna do so I'm just today showing you my machine 
let's take it out of the box i'm not going to use it this evening let me point the camera down so you can see this i am planning to get myself a new camera and on a tripod so that i haven't got to just have my webcam facing down i can have that looking at me and then my camera pointing down and our overhead shot which will be a lot better it's just getting all my things you know bit bit by bit so that everything works together okay that's my plans too but everything takes time when you're trying to start a business okay now this is uh lightweight it's not heavy so that's really helpful for um for me because it's you know i um struggle with lifting heavy things with my condition so that's that's handy for me it comes the machine let me point my uh camera down okay my machine as you can see the thermal cinch it's my leaflet i just had oh <laughs> oh yeah it comes with a leaflet as well that would help if i could it says we are makers on it but it does say american crafts on the back so i was right in what i was saying at the beginning of the video okay so it comes with an instruction booklet leaflet i should say um okay what i haven't got much room on my table so you're gonna have to bear with me just dropping everything now okay this is my thermal cinch I'll just okay you can see it better everything's just falling off my lap oh no anyway that's your power light when it powers up you've got this will light up i think and there's also a light there i think that's your ready light to tell you this is your power on light and that's to tell you it's ready and then that's your uh, light which helps you know how long it's in for i think i haven't read the instructions yet um and then you plug it in first of all there's a switch on the side okay which you plug it in turn that on and then you wait for it to heat up and of course you've got that indicator and also that indicator there and there's a list of instructions here um this will i think okay and you put what you do is when you've made your book up your notebooks up your notepad your art journals um it won't make very very thick books like the normal cinch it goes in that cradle your book you wait for it to light up you, this uh i think you can um put that over i think I don't know because I haven't read the instruction. I'm just thinking of a, a, you know, how to use this. I can't remember exactly. Um, yeah, let me just look at this. It says plug in machine and flip switch on side of panel. That's what I was saying. You plug it in, you switch that on. That's exactly what I was saying then blinking light with a beep when machine is ready okay ah right because i couldn't see on the screen this is your timer i can't read back to front 
looking through the screen that's your timer so what you'll do is you'll plug it in and you've got to eat up your machine first before you can even use it that'll be a blinking light and then it'll tell you when it's ready because it'll go beep and then i think you put your book in and then you press that to time it i think that's how it works okay play and then when your machine's ready and it's done the beep you put your book in the machine and press the timer that's right blinking light will beep when book is ready remove book and let call in hold it for five minutes now that's what i was saying you put your book in there when you've had the confirmation by the beep that it's ready then you leave your book in okay until it beeps again then your book's done and then this is the cradle to rest your book in while it cools down because if you don't do that it won't have adhered properly if you start playing with your your art journal start using it when you haven't give it time to rest in here to cool down to help the glue you know take time to settle it'll come undone so this is your cradle for resting your book in obviously your book there's no bottom to that cradle so your book you cinch will be sitting on your craft table and then in here you will have your book resting once it's been in there once it's been in here put it in there and obviously the bottom of your book will be resting on your table but this will be just to steady it so it doesn't fall over okay i think this is going to be the most simplest thing i wanted this but i did also to begin with until this came out i did want to get the normal book binding machine with the wires in i may still get that so i've got two different ones because i do want some spine um some coiled ones as well notebooks you can't do that in here i don't think no that's why you've got all these binders that came with the machine but it's a nice little machine this is i saw it in action on hobby maker um okay so that's my um thermal cinch machine i'm just going to uh put this back in this bag because i'm not using it now as i say i want to get myself some backing boards first so i can make some nice sturdy um some nice sturdy books as you can see they've there's two feet at the bottom as well to help it rest but as i say it's lightweight i can't get wait to get started on it okay i'm just going to put this back in the box okay but as i say it comes with that leaflet okay but as i say it is we are makers and on the back of the box it is american crafts so you have this that comes with it it tells you all about it it shows you in the leaflet how to set it up and everything and how to prepare your your books um i need to study this really i might not need to get them uh backs but i want to have a go at doing that obviously i will be buying backboards to do the normal ones when i get the other cinch um but yeah i wanted to have a go at that and make my own okay and these oh and it also comes with a little clip uh that is for clipping your pages together while it's drying and keep them all together while it's drying in your machine okay and each 
each uh, what are these spines you they come with a glue strip on them there's glue strips on them you can buy a pack of glue strips so you can make more now that I've got these what I'm going to do and I think what most people are doing is obviously they want you to buy more but if you haven't got the means of buying more use this i would recommend and i've heard people say it, i would recommend in getting some card some strong card heavy weight card to do your your spines okay and mark them all out as these are and make templates get yourself some cereal packing to make a template so you measure these out so you've got extra spines already done to try and you know keep costs down obviously but there is some pretty card out there you could make lovely spines from um but you do if you make your own you will need to buy the glue strips which you can buy packs of but i got mine as i say from a hobby maker um yeah i got mine from hobby maker but all this came with all this came with my thermal cinch machine <laughs> it's a lot really <laughs> okay so i've got a lot to be getting on with i mean this says american crafts on the back so i was right excuse me yeah you get two pieces of card together and stick the spines i'm going to do some of those but also i'm going to do some hard back books but not too too heavy hard back books that they won't fit in and the glue doesn't set just enough like say 300 gsm card but as i say because i want to get the other cinch uh then the other manual cinch then it's good enough to do that i mean this one came this one comes it says trim to any height so you can be a bit savvy and halve these so you could make small books as well so you could get two notebooks out of that by cutting it in half so you can even make long ones to fit or cut, try cutting it in half to be a bit more um you know savvy but there's six in there and they've all got the glue strips on okay so that one is thermal cinch spines the six in there and that's rainbow then i have look this is what i mean if you can get yourself some card some nice pretty card like this this is an assortment of um spines it's called retro these are all on hobby maker with your cinch they do accessories there's also six in there okay this was another one which i got in with in with my bundle with my thermal cinch there's six in there these are all spines that's floral as i say you can cut them in half and they've all got the uh, glue spines on okay there's so there's some for uh children i would say some for ladies some for teenagers some for because of the retro for teenagers maybe if that's what they're into um there's some of the plain ones i would say these you could do for men okay again that's another pack of uh spines and they've got the glue strips on the six in there so i've got a lot to get on with um but i am going to make to sell now these 
and also you if you've got any paper punches as well to make your own once you've you've uh measured the spine out and got yourself some glue strips you could make some fancy edge ones as well um yeah so you could i suppose die cut the card before you measure out die cut your like say a4 sheet or a3 sheet die cut the edges with a fancy die and make your own spines that way try having a go at making different ones you could probably ink some card up and do it that way as well and make some paint effects so i'm gonna have a go at different ideas but this one this is also it says die cut that's another set of six spines and the glue strips are on those this one ah no this one this book belongs to this pack has got a space where you can put your name on put a label onto it and put your name on um it does say however it's this book belongs to but then there's oh yes you've actually got this book belongs to on one of these and then the other ones have got like three boxes on i can't see what that is at the moment there do you see there's something there that um says something let me see what it says oh it's that small can I see on the screen what that says? Picture. My camera. Let's see if I can get what it says. Because I'm not sure what that says. Am I going to be able to see it? Uh, where is it? No. Hang on. Oh, zooming in. Oh dear. Zoom out a bit. What does it say? That's weird. What does it say? Oh, here. Belongs to at the end of the grid and then batch number so I don't know why I just took a picture never mind <laughs> right I know what that says so that one says this book belongs to there's a little box here that says batch number and also a little box along that says book belongs to so you've got different ones there I'm glad I did that so I could just see. Anyway, that one is called Thermal Cinch Spines Labels. And again, it's got the glue strips on it. The next ones are stencil bookmarks. So you can design your um, spines. I think for your um, for your for your binders for your spines for for these for these the plain ones you can put your stencils on and design them and put pretty pretty um, patterns onto them so that's a pack of four of those so there's obviously there's no glue strips in there because that's just your um just your stencils okay i've got a pack of six tassel bookmarks now this came with all of this all of my stuff came with all of these packs in the in the uh 
with the machine okay so it's some nice pretty tassels so you could make your own as well um i've got an idea i think that is faux leather tassels so you could do them with uh fabric tassels and things like that pom-poms put them on some ribbon okay so you've got a pack of six of those obviously there's no glue on those and then this was just a uh free um trial pack yeah this is a free trial pack which has glue strips i think there's about two in there two or three in there so you got this with the bull the mini bulldog clip i recommend buying yourself some extra ones of these i'm going to get myself some more tomorrow when i uh when i go shopping so i'm going to get some more tomorrow of these because i don't think one's enough for what i want to do you put that on and then you i've seen people use these i've never used these before so i'm gonna have a go at using these and i've seen people use them they open them up and then they fold this over the top which i think helps it keep it closed but that's only for for use of holding your pages together while they're gluing while the glue's taking hold of all your pages but there's only one in there so i need some more of these uh okay so there's that and then i got a pack of glue strips in with my bundle i've got 12 glue strips there but as i say these are a necessity you can't you can't uh make these yourself you will have to buy these okay so yeah and as you can see if you're making some card a uh, pieces of card you have to stick the glue strip down the middle because that's got to go as your spine okay so create your own your own custom bindings providing on you've got these glue strips and it's scan for tutorial video so if you buy this you can scan that and it'll give you a tutorial video as well i think this has got to be the best machine i've seen yet and for quickness as well which i'm going to be making to sell i'm going to be doing different ones um so yeah so that is my new uh thermal cinch by we are makers stroke american crafts so i hope you've enjoyed this video today please stay tuned for the next coming weeks don't know when it'll be but i want to make sure i've got all my materials some hard uh backings so i can make some really nice sturdy art journals and some sturdy notebooks as well um, and perhaps make some coloring books for children as well and and sell those that that is my idea if you like today's video please subscribe thanks for watching bye bye for now